Hi, this is Bob Cargill. It's Saturday, December 24, 2011, the day before Christmas. And I'm here on the Boston Common in Boston, Massachusetts. And today we're going to talk about part six in my 10 Ways to Succeed as a Copywriter series, Exercise Good Judgment. A copywriter has meetings to attend and research to conduct, but the majority of his or her work hours are spent, well, writing copy. And often under the pressure of exceedingly high expectations and incredibly tight deadlines. Talent is important, of course it is, but so is good judgment. Whatever you're writing, you have to have both the experience and the intuition to choose just the right words for the assignment, time after time. You also have to decide for yourself when to let go of your work and share it with your colleagues and clients. As Roger Vaughn Eck writes on page 110 of his book, A Kick in the Seat of the Pants, and I quote, the judge performs the evaluation function of the creative process. When you adopt this role, you decide what to do with the idea. Implement it, modify it, or discard it completely. In carrying out this task, you should recognize imperfections in the new idea without overstating them. You should also be open to interesting possibilities and use your imagination to develop these without losing your sense of reality and perspective. So there you have it, another one of my blog posts on video, part six, in my 10 ways to succeed as a copywriter series, exercise good judgment. This is Bob Cargill coming to you from the Boston Common in Boston, Massachusetts on Saturday, December 24, 2011, the day before Christmas. Thanks for watching.